Good morning, YouTube. Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Friday, September 13th, 2024. The day we got over 30 for silver. Uh, let's see, we are squarely at 30 right now, both uh, in the spot market and in the futures market, well over 30 for silver. And gold uh, on a rip this morning to 2,567, $8.10 increase. Uh, let's take a quick look at platinum again. Platinum up four dollars at nine eighty one, and palladium uh, trouncing uh, platinum here at one thousand o twenty six, down eight dollars. A little bit of volatility in the markets this morning, and uh, as we have done many times, bouncing off near ninety on the GSR, we are currently at uh, eighty five point twenty eight with silver appreciating more than gold as it often does when it starts to um, roll. The 10-year is down this morning to 3.659, uh, looking forward to Fed rate cuts, and the dollar is down 0.164 to 101.71 and still wants to go lower. Copper prices, okay, so we have been getting a boost from industrial metals uh, the last couple of days. Looks like today we're taking a pause. Copper at $4.13, uh, down about two cents. In the economic calendar, we have the Fear Greed Index. I'm sorry, uh, in the economic calendar, today being Friday, uh, let's see, import price index, imports, consumer sentiment at 10 o'clock Eastern. Next week, uh, Empire State Manufacturing on Monday. Then retail sales on Tuesday, housing starts um, on, uh, oh, and the most important, the FOMC interest rate decision, 2 p.m. Eastern Wednesday on September 18th. That's when we'll find out if it's a 50, 50 uh, basis point cut, a 25 basis point cut, or no basis point cut. We will have to see. Right now the market's betting on about 25 or perhaps a little more. All right, in the pre-market, the Fear Greed Index is back to neutral as people buy stocks again, the Dow having bounced off 40,000 pretty decisively, but still uh, making lower highs, and I still think this market goes lower uh, prior to next week. Uh, well, I guess by next week. Uh, let's see, and uh, anything going on with Bitcoin? Bitcoin has been kind of stumbling a little bit here lately. And there we go, 57906 down $264. I'd have my money in gold and silver, which I do. All right, let's try to find some deals. I've been busier than a one-arm paper hanger because uh, all the links are changing and the cheap stuff is selling out rapidly. Uh, we've got a little bit of FOMO returning to the market. Uh, and uh, hopefully you're not in FOMO mode because you were buying the dips, right? That's what we do. A one-tenth gold eagle is 288 at bold. A one-tenth maple is 287 at liberty. A one-tenth Britannia is 269 at liberty. A one-tenth Philharmonic is nowhere to be found, already gone. Uh, one quarter ounce eagle is six ninety nine at bold. A uh, one quarter Britannia is six seventy nine at Liberty. Random gold deal is now more expensive, of course, um, and if you pick this up. Um, from bullion exchanges at 649 you'll likely get a pretty random coin probably a cook island or something like that that you won't want so i'd look for what you do want uh best half ounce gold eagle bullion exchanges 1365 best half ounce gold maple at liberty 1332 Best one ounce gold eagle at Pinehurst today, 2655 You won't find it cheaper, except maybe on Costco. Okay, uh, best Buffy is over at Bullion Exchanges, 2634 One ounce maple is 2589 Great price at Bullion Exchanges. A Britannia, same place, 2596 at Bullion Exchanges. And a Krugerrand, which ought to be the cheapest of the gold sovereign coins, 2576 this morning. 
was 2,500 a few days ago. If you're new to the website and uh, these uh, videos, uh, this website I'm looking at is bestsilvergolddeals.com. Everything's totally free there. And get over and subscribe and see everything that we have to offer where we look for the cheapest silver, gold, platinum, palladium anywhere on the interweb with... Uh, um, we are sponsored by No Bullion Dealers, so we can just bring you the lowest prices. Then a little later, we'll look at eBay and ways to get things even cheaper. And of course, Costco, where I will do alerts when, uh, when uh, those come out, which uh, people have been capturing to their delight this morning. If you've been buying gold or silver, you are in the money. Okay, we've got uh, this 100 Corona, uh, 2554 this morning at bullion.com. And here's a $10 uh, discount code for you. Uh, best, uh, let's go right to the one ounce gold in assay. These have been selling out 2,622. You can get them much cheaper out of the assay card, secondary market gold. Uh, I haven't displayed those, but keep that in mind. If you don't mind it being out of the card, you can probably save 20, 30, 40 bucks on that. Best Platinum Eagle, which are going through the roof lately, 1,133. That is a collector coin. If you're just looking for random platinum coins, 1,085 at SD Bullion and Platinum in assay, 1,059 at Bold. Platinum moving back to 1,000 as it $1,000 is a magnet for platinum. It's almost a no-brainer to buy it when it's 900 and sell it when it's 1000 But with gold running, gold casts a heavy shadow on platinum for us old-timers that remember that when platinum was the top-tier precious metal. Never a government metal, you know, never a monetary metal, but uh, it just is history. You can't outdo it. You can't unrace it. <laughs> uh, palladium, 1140 now. Something going up going on in the auto industry, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. And I forgot to mention, I think uh, the uh, UK is dropping interest rates, uh, etc. So a lot, lot going on in the currency market. We've got one Silver Eagle at spot at Bullion Exchanges. Remainder of the tube at bold, 34.45. A quantity of 20 is 34.28. But the deal nobody else uh, really knows about is a quantity of 20 over at Pinehurst is 33.89 for random BU Eagles. They're showing the Type 1 here. Don't pay up for Type 1s. Just get them, get them when people are giving them away. And we'll find them cheaper on eBay and cheaper on Costco when those deals come up. Okay, my green light is on. Are we still over 30? I don't know. We might lose it. 30.02, we were like 30.10, 30.13 or something earlier. But uh, gold is uh, what to watch. Everybody is saying gold is breaking out. All-time highs. Um, you know, it, it's moving to 2,700. Will it move to 3,000? I don't know. Give it time. Probably will. And it will drag silver up with it, and silver will bypass gold in terms of uh, uh, in terms of the percentage increase. Give it time. It will happen. It, it always happens, guys. Okay, that's why we buy silver when nobody else is buying silver. And we'll see. When we get into the 32s or so, I may change my light, but I am still on green. Let's let this puppy run, hey? Okay. We got one silver maple at spot at Bullion Exchanges. Remainder, same place, 3238. Okay, and one spot. Uh, oh, the out of spot deal is the spot deal for kangaroos is out at Bullion Exchanges. But the remainder of the tube, 33.13 for kangaroos, cheaper on eBay. Uh, we will see Silver Gold Bull has Britannia's 33.95. Wow, look at those prices. Holy mackerel. But the Philharmonic is still the best deal. No, it's not 29 anymore as it was a week or two ago when I was mentioning it. Uh, you can get this Philharmonic for 31.58. Okay, at Costco, the only thing up this morning was the Gold Eagle, and I think the Silver Eagles might have been up uh, last night for a couple of minutes, um, and they're adjusting their prices. Twenty-six thirty-nine for a Gold Eagle this morning, but if you get four percent rebate, that's going to put you at twenty-five thirty-nine. 
Uh, it's going to put you, uh, well, well under spot. So you have to appreciate spot prices are rising and Costco is raising their prices. Get over to the website and subscribe if you uh, want to get those alerts. Okay. And if you see something cool come up, go ahead and post it in the chat room um, on this website or send me an email at losinglouis at yahoo.com. That's it for Costco this morning. Junk is uh, going to be more expensive, but still not bad at 22.53 for Kennedy Halves at Bullion Express or just random quarters at JM Bullion at 22.57 times face. If you were buying nothing so far and you were just starting out, I would concentrate on junk silver eagles and small rounds or bars okay those would be the three things i'd be buying all right 10 ounce silver bars are now going to be what about 310 uh let's see we're fetching monument metals price 320 ouch okay how about this deal here uh no i just clicked that how about this random deal here over at Bullion Exchanges? 311, there you go. But those look to be beat up. I'll show you how to turn those into beautiful bars in a little bit. Here's another deal over at uh, Golden Eagle Coin. Uh, 312, very nice deal there. And we'll keep going. Okay, Asahi rounds, are they still $1.29 over? Uh, yeah, 3157 for Asahi rounds. If you're looking for buffaloes, you can find those at Pinehurst in a quantity of 20 for 3130. Silver is moving, isn't it? Okay, random kilos. Well, let's see if that deal is still on. 1007. Oh my God. Yep, and a high quality kilo is going to be a sunshine kilo at 1,017. If you're buying kilos, that's a nice one, guys. Okay, let's get on to eBay and see how we rock and roll. Are the Libertads in stock? Uh, 881, and they are out of stock. Oh my gosh. Uh, best price on Eagles. All right, you can get the Culls for 33 a coin. It would be 32 a coin if you have that PayPal card or the American Express card. Check out through PayPal. Okay, so you'd be 32 on Culls. And uh, let's see, this would be a little under 34. You'd be a little under 33 for Silver Eagles. Uh, oh, 2021. So look at this guy. Throwing up his 2021s by chump change. 100% positive. Free shipping. Look at that. 2021 type 1s. Price to sell. Well, no hell. Ooh. Ooh. Now they are, no, type 2s. So they're type 2s after the change. 2021. And those are going for, um, well, like I said, about 33.75. Uh, 3275 or so somebody will buy that right away hopefully it's you um, yeah he's cheaper than the culls wow and then uh, for 2012s oh this guy is selling again is 2012s uh, those would be about 34 a coin about 33 after rebates uh, roll a 20 type ones Okay, well, I would pick up uh, those uh, 2021s for sure if I was buying Eagles this morning. Those are going to be going for 40 bucks pretty soon. All right, let's get over to Maples. And Maples are 827. Britannias are 825. Kangaroos are 825. And uh, Krugerrands are 828. So what would I buy? Well, if they were the same price, I'd get the maples. Um, oh, here's one, 825. He must be charging shipping. Uh, silver maples, 2013s. Oh, okay. Be careful they don't spot. That's pre-shield guard. Uh, really, 840 for these maples. No, let's get off the maples. Go to the Britannias. See if we can get a, a current roll of Britannias. Uh, yeah, the, this is odd. I showed you this yesterday. These plain front Britannias that he's showing, he may just have the wrong image because these plain front Britannias are collector coins. Uh, let me get off that. Uh, 834. Uh, can we get a modern roll? 834. Yeah, let's take a look at 834 and see what that pencils out. Uh, 834 divided by 25. So that is 3336 
times 0.97 with a good credit card. You'd be at 32.35 for uh, Britannia's, and maybe a little cheaper on some of these other sovereign coins. Uh, you can check that to the prices above and buy cheaper on eBay if it is cheaper. Uh, junk, okay. Ooh, wow. Why so good? Why so good? Uh, 22 times face, about 21 times face for junk. Very nice deal. Well, junk is still cheap on eBay. Still pretty cheap, considering spot price being 30 bucks. Large lot of junk. Yeah, you don't want the bent, damaged, hold, or slicked or culls, or no dates, or no dates. Uh, you want solid dates, 22.50. So you'll be under 22, but that smaller deal was better, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice for junk on eBay this morning, if you're buying. And a big lot of Mercs, okay. Uh, ooh, 24.34, about uh, 23.80 or so after rebates. Okay, let's get on to the Carson Cities. Are they getting more expensive? Uh, no, not really. So you can still pick up a slabbed Carson City in the low 300s uh, in MS63. If you want to go to 65, those are going to cost you in the low 500s. The peace dollars in the slab are about 60 bucks and the high relief is about 1500. Okay, Silver Libertads, a member of the community sent in the uh, Libertads he bought on those smoking deals that I've been talking about when they were cheap. Now they're out of stock and look what they sent him. Beautiful BU historic vintage owns. He's got his price in there, I don't recall. Uh, and won't focus on what he paid. These came from Monument Metals, but these are $40 coins, guys. So congratulations, and uh, the benefits of being part of this community are massive, um, and hopefully you guys got a bunch of those libs. All right, uh, let's do a 10-ounce bar on eBay. Uh, I don't know, they're going to be about 305 Is that out of stock? Uh, that is out of stock. Yeah, you're going to pay more like 317 NTR they're not in business anymore okay uh, 317 so about uh, 10 bucks off you'd be out 307 for a 10 ounce bar this morning that is barely over spot and we'll have to see what happens to spot this morning some good deals on the 10 ounce bars look at this one Scottsdale chunkies 315 and that is from sporty five Somebody dumping their Scottsdale Chunkies, uh, $5 shipping. Those are beautiful little chunky bars. Uh, they've been making those for a long, long time. So you can still buy 10-ounce bars on eBay. The Kilo Kook is only $10.49. So uh, that would be about the same as a generic Kilo price this morning if you want to pick that up for your sweetie. A roll of Kooks is... Uh, about 35 a kook and about 34 after rebates. No, they're not 32 anymore. Large lot of one ounce rounds, 31.66, about 30.76. A little over spot for big, uh, big box of buffaloes there. So you can pick those up. Okay, you know I like these other deals. The golden analytic is uh, probably much higher this morning. Uh, oh look, he put it back at 3.49. Well, there you go. Double Eagle has got these up for three fifty-five with rebates, about three forty-five. Wow. I might have to buy that one, guys. But you know what? I'll leave it for you. I got a couple of those already. Somebody picked that up. Okay, it's too cheap. Everybody's telling you. It might be true. All right, uh, Johnson Matthew bars are going to be in the low three hundreds. If you want a hundred ounce bar. Uh, 3125 is the real deal, 100% feedback seller, and he will ship it to you for free. Wow, you can buy three of them for 3062 and get those suckers under spot. Do this guy a favor and buy all three of these 100 ounce bars, and I'm going to show you in a minute how to melt these down into your own bars, and you will have an immediate profit. I might have to pick one of those up. Oh, damn. But you know what? I'm working for you here, not for me. So uh, that's pretty damn good. Wow, what's up with that? He did not adjust his price. Uh, 
I'm kind of shocked by that price. Okay, uh, BU Peace Dollars are always a good deal. BU Morgans are always a good deal. Stash those away. Put them in the Christmas stockings. Platinum Eagles are going to be through the roof this morning. Twelve hundred bucks for those. Aren't you glad you bought them when they were nine hundred? Okay, we've got gold. Let's not ignore gold because it, it is what everybody wants. And now the world is seeing the value of gold. The people that had never bought it before on Costco so much cheaper are saying, "Wow, Marge, I'm." made money on gold and you can bring it into your LCS and sell it you know for a lot more than you paid for it even if you only get spot all right uh, one-tenth gold well let's go to the Philharmonic is that out of stock no that is in stock 269 and then you would take about eight bucks off you'd be about uh, 2600 melt on a gold Philharmonic that's not a bad buy uh, what do we got in the one quarter random one quarter random going for, oh gosh, I don't know which one of these is real this morning. Um, they aren't 647, I'll guarantee you that. That's been out of stock, but they were at one point. Weren't you glad you were buying them? Uh, 664 is in stock, $4 shipping. Uh, so that'd be, uh, yeah, BG, no, wait, what is this? This is from... Mike, he's a small seller, but he's got a gold lib up for sale for six sixty-four, and then you would take twenty dollars off. You'd be at six forty-four for a quarter ounce. Um, uh, what the hell is this? Oh, bowl of Clarence, the coin nobody likes because it's ugly. <laughs> but still, it's a quarter ounce sovereign gold. Uh, Vermilion will pay you ninety-eight percent a spot for that. If you wonder where to sell that kind of thing, okay, let's get up to the Holy Grail, the Gold Eagle, which everybody wants, and most people could afford until just recently. Uh, these uh, older deals are not going to be in stock. Uh, here is a quarter ounce uh, MS sixty-nine from a no feedback seller. Here's a seven oh nine from a no feedback seller. He's gonna rip you off. It's gonna take you a month to get your money back. Avoid that. Here is Pinehurst uh, selling the hell out of quarter ounce gold eagles at 716. You're gonna take over 20 bucks off. You're gonna be under 700 on uh, gold eagles. And if you wanna check the price uh, at the regular dealers. So we're trying to beat 700 at the regular deals. Here's the cheapest price anywhere on the internet right now is six ninety nine. That's a push at bold. Okay, well, all right. Can't always beat the prices above because I do search for the best prices. Quarter ounce Britannia, I'm in the wrong place. Let me go back to where I should be. Uh, I should be over here. Okay, uh, one ounce gold. If you're just going for big gold, uh, let's see, it ain't going to be 2400 anymore. Probably 2484 out of stock. It ain't going to be that. That's under spot. Uh, it's going to be under over 2500 for a real deal. And this one is also out of stock. People buying up all these eBay deals before they can adjust the prices. Uh, 2600 from uh, Decent Seller. Uh, that's a good deal. Local pickup only. He got me again. Uh, here's a panda, twenty six twenty five, and good seller. Uh, yeah, just get yourself. Is it a? Oh wow, that's a collectible panda, twenty six twenty five, seventy five dollars off would put you at twenty five fifty uh, for a panda if you roll that way. If you just want a one ounce uh, Scottsdale bar, same price, about twenty six forty five. And if you want to get up to something sovereign. Uh, 50 Rand, South Africa. Big Five, wow. Now that was a hot coin in its day. MS-70, wow. 2650, free shipping. Big seller, good seller. That's worth buying. Oh my God, he'll take a best offer. Offer him 2620 and get that out the door at spot. That's a big five elephant, dudes. Now grant you, uh, you know, a dealer will only pay you 98% a spot, but that is a collectible gold coin right there. Glad we found that for you. Uh, I'm gonna go to a gold eagle and, I don't know, 2675, is that real? Uh, yeah, that's real, 2675. You're gonna get that for about 2600. Uh, for a gold eagle this morning. I guarantee that beats one ounce gold eagles up here. 
2600 and look they're charging 2655 so pick that up and put it in your truck and drive it home buffaloes ebay is smoking this morning okay i'm gonna let you uh, check the prices and be sure to get your three percent off using paypal credit card or american express credit card checking out through paypal a, pre a paypal account is free and then you get the paypal card which almost anybody can get or the american express card which is much harder to get they'll give you three percent rebates when you check out through paypal you get your three percent off and uh, you just kind of get smoking deals and uh, you know uh, ebay takes returns and you're protected three different ways from sunday um, it's a good way to go if you go with a good seller okay um Man, I just can't do, keep doing this forever, so I'm going to have to wrap up soon. Uh, we've got uh, gold commemorative. 647 is too cheap, but yet they are. Okay, we're going to have to slow down and do the math here. A $5 commemorative is a little over a quarter ounce, and these prices do not look right. Uh, 647 divided by 0.24. I won't even add the fraction. Uh, that's going to be 26.95, and then times... 0.97 equals uh, 2614. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, there is a premium on that for U.S. sovereign gold commemoratives. Uh, maybe something at auction will come up. Did, uh, 625? Did I do 625 or 647? Oh, gold Atlanta Olympics. The Olympics were in Atlanta in 2000. 1995, 1996. What was that like? The second Olympics? Uh, okay. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, well, oh, local pickup. Yeah, he's only doing local pickup. Well, hell's bells. Hell's bells. You afraid to ship gold? Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, Twenty franc uh, is going for four eighty-five for the rooster minus rebates. Pre-33 Eagles, you're going to watch people turn into pre-33 if they can't get gold eagles cheap. Uh, here's a Liberty Coin deal, and there you go, $2,600. Okay, $75 off. Um, it's in very fine condition. Okay, I guess I'll hold my, hold my tongue on very fine, but nothing wrong with that. It's going to be authentic. It should not be cleaned. So it is a uh, double eagle. I would rather have the St. Gaudens in uh, Extra Fine or uh, AU, but uh, nonetheless, twenty-five, twenty-five after rebates um, on uh, this. It's about a point nine eight. Uh, let's see if he gives us the specs down here. Uh, no, about a point nine seven. So you take twenty-five, twenty-five after rebates. Five divided by point nine seven. Yeah, right, to get the uh, melt. The melt is 2603. So, uh, well, you know, 2603, I guess that is a premium on that. All right, I'll get off the, uh, the pre 33s there. And a gold lib is going to run you 2773 this morning. All right, like I said, I want to wrap up. Uh, just uh, we've got the Rolos, uh, nice Scottsdale product. Norfeds, if you're buying those, Scottsdale Mint auctions. Uh, it'd be a good day to sneak into an auction and pick something up cheap. This one goes off in a day. This one goes off in two days. Oh, wow, all the auctions are up. This one goes off in two hours, the Unicorn Jubilee. Okay, nothing coming up in the next minute or two. All right, Palladium Eagles, those go at auction as well. And they are going for 1500 minimum. U.S. Mint is charging 2000 for them. Here's stuff in my store. Pick up anything you like over there. The Shamrock Bar is available to members of Louis Silver. I do appreciate you guys. And uh, all you have to do is click the, uh, the, join, the join button. Um, if you get on my videos you will see in every video there is a join button here that'll get you in and it'll get you one of my serialized silver bars for 250 over spot guys that's how i'm giving back when you subscribe or you get a membership to the youtube channel everything is totally free here but you're not going to get that bar okay all right guys uh, cheapest 10 ounce vintage silver on ebay 
is 335. Here's a 345, an OPM bar is pretty nice. And there's that golden analytic bar that you really ought to pick up. Somebody ought to. Lots of places to buy silver this morning and gold. And uh, people, uh, not all the prices are adjusting. Uh, August import prices are displaying. Uh, the market is still got in, on the green on the pre-market. I think the stock market is set for a fall. Uh, let's see. So uh, you th you know things you can buy on eBay: the precious metals verifier, empty monster boxes, a way to bury your gold and silver, a way to vacuum seal it, or nice watches if you want them authenticated. Okay, this is a new listing here, and uh, told you I'd show you how to buy those big bars and uh, turn them into. Um, beautiful little bars like I do in my workshop and uh, this is uh, my Amazon store okay so uh, yeah get on over there and here is everything you need to refine silver you got a bunch of spotted tarnished crappy old silver I do not recommend uh, melting sterling okay but if you guys want to you can but if you got a bunch of silver big bars you can't get rid of and you want to turn them into little bars or beautiful silver art or rounds here's everything you need in my Amazon store I highly recommend the Devil Forge here which is what you need uh, you can't you can't use the auto furnace um, uh, the um, the uh, two auto uh, electric furnace for big bars because the crucibles are too small what you need is a can of propane and this baby right here and it is really dirt cheap so um you know these uh, devil forges here which is what they used to be called um they have giant crucibles you put a hundred ounce bar in there you melt it down you make your shot and then um you go back and you get some of these beautiful cast iron um, molds or you can get graphite molds you can pour you know crosses or anything you want you pick up a stamp on uh, on eBay custom they make custom stamps on eBay for 75 bucks okay you pick up a tumbler you pick up some shot ways to melt the silver in your shop I use a propane uh, torch myself get yourself one of these bibs and get yourself uh, you know some other molds and then a crucible and you are poor in silver dudes okay um, but it is dangerous and it is not for the faint of heart and uh, you got to be a badass to do this so if you're a badass and you got a bunch of hundred ounce bars you want to turn into little bars um, you can totally do that and then um, hey, you can sell them man or you can make something beautiful sell it on eBay um, anyway um, and well I'll stop on that I don't want to get you too far down the rabbit hole but you know I've been doing that for 10 years and I love it okay uh, here's the Amex card 3% the PayPal card 3% um, on to the quick silver oh my god the picks of the day I can't even get through them all right, um, let's see. The Germania Mint is still on sale. 103 for the 100 gram. Why? Because nobody wants metric. We're in America. And uh, metric is going cheaper. Uh, the Silvertown bars, they got to be gone by now. Nope, but they're 372. These are gorgeous bars. And I got something in the 5000 series uh, with the three that I bought. Um, still pretty good price. Okay, the Libs are in town. And the Samurai Bar... The Warrior Bar, how much are those now? Those are going for $173 for a 5-ounce bar. Uh, I can't keep going. I can't keep going here. Too much good stuff. The Sunshine Deal is $327, but you get 10 1-ounce bars. That would probably be the best uh, way to stack uh, silver uh, in small quantities. would be 1-ounce bars, in my opinion. The Engelhards are going to be more now. They're 337 for vintage Engelhards. All right, I'm out of steam. There's the Indian girl, if you like that, and five ounce coins, and I am just winding down here. Okay, uh, we're going to get import prices down uh, minus 0.3 versus estimate of minus 0.2. I'm going to go back and check spot. Let's see if we can run. Let's see if we can run spot run. Yeah, baby, they can't hold gold back. It's moving. It's moving to 2700 and silver is uh, bringing up the rear, and futures are even higher on silver. It's going to make a run to 32 um, and I'm still green, you know. Uh, hopefully, we push back below 30 give you guys an, a last uh, buying chance, but... Uh, Man, this is exciting. Okay, I will see you guys later, and uh, 
see you everywhere that you can contact me uh, in the chat room, which I don't get in there all that often. You can email me, losinglouie at yahoo.com. Respond to this video with other great deals that you're finding. Um, or, uh, I don't know, send me a pigeon. Okay, guys, I will see you later. Louie out.